Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome to East Shade, where we're going to get to play as a travelling artist in a beautiful, peaceful, open world. So let's get started, shall we? We need to pick our name, so um, just go for, let's go for Auron, Final Fantasy X. Let's get it going. So from everything I understand about East Shades, um, it's not going to be, it's going to be a very peaceful game, which I thought would be a nice contrast after just finishing Elden Ring. Um, although the beginning of the game I don't think is massively peaceful. So we're on a, we're on a ship. We're uh, going to be, I think we're, everyone's a furry, technically. So let's have a little chat with everyone. Obviously, I've, I've played the, the opening 15 minutes of the game just to test performance, but we are completely blind after that. Hello there. Great start. Forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. What was it again? I'm Orin. Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. Great Voyages. We've got a journal. Got to help the old woman. <laughs> the old woman travelling with us asked me to fetch her book from the sleeping quarters. Sure thing. Can't quite talk to anyone else just yet. Great voyages, property of Clara. I'm just, uh, I'm going to take notes from time to time. You never know at the start of games how much they're going to write down for you in the journals and stuff. So uh, we've met Clara. The seas of the north are, wi are widely unexplored. Researchers predict these waters are expansive, and small expeditions have revealed numerous islands filled with diverse life and communities. Due to the unpredictable and violent nature of these waters, many exploration ships have been lost while attempting to form new contacts and carry out scientific research. All, uh, all eyes on the Harrigan, if found, please return to uh, Lindo. Let's give her her book back. Thank you very much. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Certainly. Ah, after my own heart. I've had a lifetime of it, believe it or not. If you're sticking around in East Shade, Maybe I'll tell you all about it sometime. Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. Captain Elona. You just learned about a new topic. You can now inquire about this topic using the pick topic option when it's presented. Not everyone has something to say about every topic. Um, so have we got a journal? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go talk to this fella. I've never been to East Shade. I've heard wonderful things about it. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? I've heard that since gone out of style. Quite a strange fashion fad if you ask me. Mishka. As long as East Shade doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. Cool. So what do you know about Lindo? It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be landing in. It's one of the many gems of the country, I hear. It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be... <sighs> Almost there. Almost there. Uh oh. Ooh, that did not sound good. No. Open the door. Help. 
Anyone? Okay. Did I ever tell you about the trip your father and I took to East Shade? Tell me again. Of all the trips we took, that one was my favourite. You know, if you're ever looking for painting inspiration... I know, Mum. Tell me you'll visit one day. Promise you'll go. I promise. Think of you exploring Eastshade. It makes me so happy. I know you'll find inspiration there. What an adventure you'll have. Listen, there are some places you absolutely mustn't miss. Be sure to paint the giant tree. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Okay, let's make a note of these. The giant tree. Uh, how will I recognise it? You won't miss it, trust me. And the Tiffmore Bluffs are oh, the lovely sky country. I can picture you there. I can picture you there now. An easel set and you making a beautiful painting. Those open skies and endless seas would move any artist. The Tiffmore Bluffs. So we're maybe travelling as like the last wish of our of our mother, maybe. Yeah, definitely. In the city, there's a magnificent building in the centre. From the very top floor, you can see the whole town and more. You won't be able to resist taking out your brushes. Yeah, the city, yeah. Ah, soon. You'll be there soon. You should get some rest, Mum. Yeah, last wishes. Welcome to East Shades. You've woken. So the ship crashed, evidently. Are you or still or okay? sunk. I've been better, I think. Do you remember what happened? Ingov. I was travelling on a ship. It collided with the reef. I'm glad your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. Yeah, what happened to everyone else? From what I've heard, you were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. The others are safe in town. Oh, right, good, good, good. Are we on Lind Lindlow? East Shade, of course. East Shade, Specifically, yeah. Specifically, my home. I usually don't take visitors, but in this case I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Oh, uh, yeah, where's all my stuff? Only your easel. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. It must mean a great deal to you. I won't forget. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. Okay, Ingov. Thanks a lot for helping. On your way, then. Yeah, the, uh, the audio mix is just a touch. I already lowered it, but the music is very loud. Sorry about that. Alright, so none of this stuff is ours. This is all Ingov's belongings. Let's talk to him again. To head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. On your way, then. Alright. Okay, so we've got our inventory. So, uh... It's just our storage bag, I guess. We've got equipment, drinks, and books. All in here. Um... Paintings and canvases. You haven't created any paintings or canvases yet. When you do create a canvas, this is where you'll find it. And our journal. Mother always wanted me to visit Eastshade. She wished me to paint four of her favourite places on the island. A giant tree anywhere on the Tiffmore Bluffs, the highest peak and the view from a t 
from atop of the common tower in the big city. So everything's going to be written down for us past quests as well. And we can't see our body or anything. But I'm going to turn right out of the out of here. Let's see East Shade. Beautiful man. That must be the ship over there. Oh, I can walk on the right mouse button as well. I don't think there's a run button, I can't remember. I'll just try out some. Oh no, I can run. Left shift. Look at this. So this must be the town here. So we've got uh, materials we can gather, like these plants. White bloom sack. A white bulbous flute. Fruit. It sounds hollow. Look at this. This is Lindo, not Linlo. Lindo. Oh, inspiration. Making paintings drains inspiration. Gain inspiration by exploring new places and trying new things. Hello there. How are you? You went on the boat, were you? Oh, it's you. You were on the ship. Yes, Aaliyah. What happened to you? I washed up in a cave. Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. What brought you to East Shade anyway? Um... Well, these last two are technically true, but let's just be honest, right? It seems like a nice place. Yeah. Uh, my mother loved it here. Very adventurous of you. I came to visit my family. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Thanks. The captain is in a terrible state. I suppose that's to be expected. She won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. You should speak with her. Okay, the captain is at the dock. Uh, where are you staying? My family lives here in Lindo, so I'll be staying with them. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. You'll be comfortable there. Okay, the inn. It gets cold around here at night. You shouldn't be out without a proper coat. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. Understandable. Anything else? After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. Right, thanks, Aaliyah. Are you wondering about anything else? No. Are you wondering about anything else? Right. Well, thanks thanks for the, the, the teacup, I guess. Everyone's so nice. I'm just going to have to adjust these audio settings, man, because the, the music is, like, really loud. And her voice started peaking the audio a bit there. I had already adjusted these, but it was... Oh, God, no. <laughs> okay, so the, the captain is down by the dock, and there's an inn. And... Okay, that's, uh, she gave us, um, yeah, a brew. Imbued with the quaint, dreamy glimmer of its seaside port town origin. A refreshing sip to clear my head of anything weird I drank. Okay, so if we get drunk, maybe. Cool, let's just have an explore then. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I can't remember where she said the inn. Oh, there's the inn. Well, there, child. But aren't I good at flying? 
Well, that's debatable. <laughs> hey, let's be everyone's been so nice to us. So let's be nice back. Thanks! My dad says that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it. Okay. Delusional children. Well, never mind. I'm too miserable for this place. Everyone's so nice. <laughs> right, we've got the inn. Got some houses. The captain. I'm not sure who the captain was. Whether we spoke to them or not. They all, I think everyone below deck would have been a traveller, but... Right, let's go find the captain, maybe. Hey, are you an artist? I tried to be. Hey, you have an easel! Are you an artist? Sanya. Certainly am. So am I! Do you want to see what I made? Of course! Look! Uh, what's it supposed to be? It's the ocean. I don't know how to do it right. It took all day. But I want to make my next one even better. What should I do? Um... Yeah, you need a better canvas. Paper and paint don't always go well together. But I don't know how to make a canvas. Well, we can we can help each other. All right, you're a nice artist after all. Okay, so we need some materials. We need boards and fabric. You go and get it. I'll stay by the beach. I know where some boards are. Follow me. Okay. Oh, we've picked up a quest by accident. The captain will have to wait. Did you see when it ran a reef? I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. Hey, wait, wait. And it went down so quickly. It's amazing anyone made it out of that. You certainly won't see me boarding a ship anytime soon. Yeah. Well, we got some boards. Now good work. We just need the fabric. I don't. Let's keep going. Oh, sorry. Maybe we should ask someone. Let's keep going. I didn't mean to click then. Sorry. Is she going to follow me? Oh, no, no. Yes. Who should we ask? You know where there's some fabric? Let's keep going. Oh, I interrupted her by accident. Yeah, there's probably fabric knocking around here somewhere. Be around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Let's keep going. What? But I got the fabric. Did I not? Maybe I need a lot of fabric. So we have everything we need now, right? We can make a canvas from this stuff. Certainly can. Crafting box. Where's my crafting box? Oh, there we go. Alright, so it's two boards and two fabric. There we go. Could you paint something? I want to watch a real artist. Um, okay, hang on. Let's find a good angle. You want to be in the painting. Well, that's not bad, is it? Oh, look at that. Look at that big moon. My right, kid, get out of the way. It's a landscape painting, not a child painting. Probably laws against that, right? Um... Awesome! <laughs> the painting is amazing! I work I fast. Try. Can I have a canvas? We found enough stuff, right? Uh, sure. Yes! 
I'm going to use this for Miss Nika's next painting. She loves art so much. Hey, Miss Nika loves art like us. She always likes my paintings. I bet she'd like yours too. She really likes the eclipse. You should draw her that. Cool. Hi, mate. Yeah, so have we got a, a quest for that? Uh, let's write that down. An eclipse. Someone. Was it N Nika, did you say? Yeah, an eclipse. Right, let's go find the captain. Beautiful. Um, that's our first painting. So we used some inspiration there. So we need to explore more before we want to do some more painting. And we work fast. We are the fastest painter known to man. Like a printing press. Was that yours? I'm sorry. So you've survived too. Well, that's the captain. That means only one of us has been lost at sea. What? Oh, right. Who? Who? Only the most important one of us all, Annabelle. All right. Annabelle. Yeah, I don't think I met her. Was she above? De uh, above deck. Doesn't sound. Oh, I see. She carries you across the oceans, and you don't even learn her name. Annabelle, my ship, my wooden sea-loving daughter, <laughs> killed by the damned reefs when we came into this miserable town. At least the real people. What? I'm very sorry. Kind of you to say so. Kindness does nothing to bring sweet Annabelle back to me. At least the real people made it. I don't want to say that. I imagine I'll be spending the rest of my days mourning Annabelle, sitting here, dreaming of a world where oh, it's she the wasn't ship. destroyed and people actually remember her name. That went over my head then. She's talking about the ship. The ship was called Annabelle. Okay, I don't have to feel bad now. Sorry. Off with you. Trade your life for hers. Hey! It's really a terrible place to be stranded. A ship murdering town. Oh dear, she's not happy. There's fabric all around us. Just look. Or ask that dock worker over there. Ship. All right. Such a good ship she was. I'm sure now you'll leave me be. All right. I'm sure you'll build another one. I think we could talk to this guy. Hi, mate. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay, and that's what does it. It shouldn't slow down traffic too much, though. I'm just glad you all made it. Thanks, Doric. What can you tell me about the place? Lindau is a nice port of town. Although we don't have much to export anymore. Aside from bloom sacks. Now most of our tourism these days are just people passing through. On the way in or on the way out of Nava. Nava. Okay. Fabric. We go through loads of it. Here. These lengths are defective for shipping. Right. But will perhaps serve your purposes. Thanks mate. Sure. I've got no boards. Everyone's so nice here. Except for the captain, but she's not really from here. Now, there's tons of fabric and boards and everything. Oh! Hey, mate. Big Bear. Watch your step there. Lots of moving boxes around here. You looking a little waterlogged. Guessing you just came in off of that ship. I think you even got some seaweed hanging from your ear. Thanks. Yeah, we all have those days, right? I mean, uh, my dad got in a shipwreck once. He wasn't as lucky as you, though. <laughs> that must have been tough. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's fine. Just lost his leg is all. Now he gets to order us around even more. Fair enough. So, you'll probably be exploring all over, right? Would you do me a huge favor? 
Maybe. My brother loves raspberry-filled pastries. Loves them. He can't get enough, but raspberries don't grow here. So he puts in an overseas order every two weeks. It's crazy, really. Now, the thing he hates is grape-filled pastries. I, I mean, we all hate them, obviously, but he hates them even more. He'd destroy them all if he could, you know? He once saw an old lady eating some, and he grabbed the box and threw it in the ocean. <laughs> it was the craziest thing. Okay, so what I did was fill his raspberry pastry bag with, uh, oh. <laughs> grape pastries. Can That's you imagine mean. what he's gonna do when he eats one? <laughs> He'll go insane. <laughs> <laughs> He's always suspicious of me doing something like this, though. I wonder so it why. Would be perfect. If you could play along and act like you're a uh, delivery person. Alright. So, what do you say? Will you deliver them to him? Oh, yeah. I'm stranded here with no supplies. I don't know anyone, and I'm just gonna give someone something that they absolutely despise. Fine. Perfect. You gotta play the part, though. Really make them think they're raspberry pastries. <laughs> This'll be great. Here, take these. My brother lives over in Nava, so I'll meet you there in a few days, eh? All right? I'll probably be near the bakery. You just come find me, and I'll point my brother out to you. All right, Nava. All right. Cheers, big man. I don't think we've got, like, a carry weight or anything, so we should be okay. Uh, we can craft a canvas. Go. Don't need to paint anything just yet, though. Uh, someone's journal. Once an old lady, a child's journal from the looks of it. Once an old lady went up into a tall tower right on the coast. She stayed up there watching the ocean and eating snacks until it was past her bedtime. Then she wanted to go home to see her cat. Then she started to go down the stairs but she fell because she was so tired and she died she turned into a ghost and now she stays in the tower and haunts it she turns on the lights whenever night comes so that her cat can find her but the cat doesn't ever go because the tower is too scary the end that's a terrifying cat it's got six legs it's a spider cat okay Future novelist, horror writer. Give me them. All right, let's uh, just continue talking to everyone. Maybe go rest at the inn or something. Maybe have a little wander down to the beach. Hello there. I can't talk to everyone. How's your painting going? Not going anywhere. Now, let's maybe have a little look at the tower there. I don't think that this is obviously a town, so Watch we're gonna. Soar like a bird! Uh oh. Do you need some help there? You appear to be stuck. Who's there? Nika? <laughs> is that you? Nope. You must be one of the tourists. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Glad you're okay. Yada, yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? I need help. Yeah. What were you trying to get out of the jug? Are you Winnie the Pooh? It's stuck, obviously. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? Uh, how? It, uh, it happens. It's fairly normal, really. Doesn't it happen <laughs> to you from time to time? No. Never. All right, fine. Brilliant. I'll wait here. Stuck in his yeah. jug. I'm just gonna steal his supplies. Don't think there's anything in here. All right, let's go get Nika, and we'll maybe head up the tower. Have a little see. Have a little look around. See if we can see a bit further. Hi there, Nika. I feel so adventurous staying here in Lendo. Where have you come from? I live in Nava, but sometimes I just long for the primitive lifestyle Lendo offers. Well. 
Uh, how often do you come here? This is my first excursion out of Narva. Okay. It just feels like the right time for a dramatic adventure. Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. <laughs> Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy paths, the unbearable <laughs> heat. I even had to eat outside. <laughs> Overall, it was a dreadful experience, but I braved through it all. <laughs> Oh, God. There's even toffs here. Posh people. Snobs. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I, uh, my ship crashed. Hmm. I'm guessing you're a bit inexperienced in travel safety. It wasn't... Perhaps you should consult me for advice before your next journey. Well, tell that to the ship captain, not me. I really wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. Oh, yeah. Sat on a cushion. I do enjoy this exciting new lifestyle I've adopted. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my journey to Lindo? Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm sure you have the saga thoroughly memorized. Yeah. Say, you do some sort of odd things, don't you? Maybe. Do you think you could capture my sheer magnificence on canvas? I'm dying to show my friends what a remarkable traveler I've become. All right. What Perhaps. stunning taste you have. <laughs> Be sure to capture every bit of my elegance. Uh, a pompous patron. Well, the pompous fellow at the Lindo Inglenook Inn asked me to paint his portrait. It may be once he stood up. So maybe we're going to get to go to uh, Narva. Yeah, because he asked us to meet him there. Have you decided you'd like to paint a bold adventurer? Hang on, hang on. What do you know about Lindo? It's a dramatic destination. I'll be the envy of my friends when I get home. I like it, this man. It's, it's got a good sense of... It's got a nice bit of humour. Uh, what can you tell me? Isn't it, so Narva's like the big city. Oh, it's the most wonderful city. Much better than this place. All right. I can hardly believe I managed to get myself here alive. All right. Have you decided you'd like to paint a bold I'll and think about stunning it. taste you have? Right, Be on, sure let's... to capture every bit of my elegance. Right, I imagine those will unlock if we decide to stay at the inn. Hello. You must be the traveller from the wrecked ship. That's me. Yeah. Uh, someone who lives in a cave rescued me. Oh, good. Ingolf needs some visitors every now and then. I wish he would spend more time in town, but he'd rather be alone. Why? Huh. Well, I guess you live here then. Yes, I run the inn. I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary travelers. When I was young, I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. Okay. Can you tell me about the town? It's a bit more calm than Nava. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. Sure. But what about the big city? I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. Right. Certainly. What? I mean... What's this? Is this what we pay for it? With. Okay, so we are going to generate currency. Fair enough. Ah. All right, uh, Asan is stuck in a jug. Oh, of course he does. <laughs> and what is it this time? He's got a jug stuck on his head. Again? Again? It's like the eighth time. Eight? All right, then. We'd better go help. All right. Let's go. Come on, jughead. Come on then. I'm so good at flapping my wings. <laughs> oh, it's really stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty stuck. 
I think what we need here is some soap. Oh. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from Amin's house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Sure. I don't mind. It's a noble cause. We need some soap. I mean, is that you? Hello there. Can I help you, traveller? Hey. Hey. Hey, mean. I mean. I need some soap. Soap? Well, certainly. May I ask why? You don't want to know. <laughs> it's too weird. Uh, hmm. You shouldn't use soap for that. It's not safe. For what? Anyway, I'll ask no more. Here. And no need to return it. What do you think? a friend of yours? I don't really know him. Uh, well, I shouldn't gossip then. Well, what do you think I'm using this salt for? What's the gossip? He's just such a peculiar man. And you know what? I think Lenny is going to have some real issues when he grows up. Why? Because he doesn't tell him the truth. Well, you've seen him. The boy is unhinged. He thinks he can fly. And not just that. I've been hearing a lot of yelling coming from that house. I think it's quite a broken home. You know, I imagine you'll be traveling all around this island, being a tourist and all. Perhaps when you get to Nova, you should let the sheriff know about Isan. I think it's only right, you know, for Lenny. All right. Not stopping you doing it. Well, it's a small town. If word ever got back to Isan that I was the one that reported him, okay. things might be a little awkward, being such a close neighbor and all. All right, I'll do it. I'll help. I think it'd be best for the child. I only have his best interest at heart. Isan is not a stable man and wholly unsuitable to be a parent. Here, this will help you with the toll. Ooh. Right. Well, here's some soap. Safe travels. Unsuitable parent. God, that's harsh. I don't know if there's any choice and consequence in this game. We'll just have to find out, right? Uh, is there a time? There is a time of day, I think. Or a day-night cycle, but... What are you doing? I've got the soap! Oh god. Get down from there. I can't fly if I don't even try. Oh, I shouldn't have encouraged him. You're not a bird, Lenny. You need to come down right now. Oh, You're this going is, to get hurt. This is gonna get dark. Everybody, turn around! No 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 no. What? Why? If you don't all turn right now, I'm gonna jump! Okay, okay. Everyone turn around. Yeah, turn around now. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it's time to come down now. I flew! I can't believe it! I flew! Of course you did. I'm just glad you're back down. Don't do that again, okay? Shouldn't have encouraged him. Okay. Now that I know I can fly, I won't do it again. What a dysfunctional family. A deer who thinks he can fly, and a dad who's got a jar stuck on it, a pot stuck on his head. Here you go. You have the soap. Well, let's try this thing then. Here, let me have that soap. What is happening? Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Thanks for getting Nika. Yes, you plank. Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax! Uh, let's not, like, throw e uh, uh, my e mine under the bus. Alright, mate. Ch chill out. I've just got here. We need to explore a bit. So what, he- I guess he just climbed up from here, I suppose. 
Let's have a little look. We could paint that guy's portrait, maybe get a bit of money for doing that. Look at this. Bit of a strange texture on the river there, but... Beautiful. But not all the ships have crashed. What are you guys doing? Got, like, wooden toys. Oh. Great viewpoint, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Look, the eclipse is starting. It is. Oh, well, this must happen every day. I bet that happens every day, that's amazing. Not a bad show, right? I've missed seeing it from solid grounds. Yeah, it's been a while. I try to come up here every day. I guess it just doesn't get old for me. Oh. No. Anyway. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry about payment. <laughs> Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. Oh, you're so nice. Take care now. Thank you. You look well. Thanks. Uh, we already asked her about these. Certainly. So we can buy some of these now because we've got some cash Ola. Uh, let's not waste it just yet. Okay, so we've seen the captain. We've got a room to stay in. Let's just have a quick, maybe a, have a quick look at that tower. Have a little chat to some other people who are scattered around, <laughs> and maybe rest for the night at the inn. Hey. Hey. All right, fine. I can't tell him to be careful. I saw you talking with the captain. How is she doing? She's in a rotten mood. Yeah, she really loved the ship. I don't think I've heard her talk about much else. Hmm, I wonder if she'll ever recover. Hmm. How have you been? See you later. Not sure what this place is. Maybe where they have town meetings, perhaps, or something. I guess you've got lots of options to, for lo lots of different views to 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 for paintings. Let's just see if we can talk to anyone else. Hi, hey, mate. Ah, a newcomer. In the future, Tifa? if you're ever in need of carriage to Mava, I'm your driver. Sure. Thanks. My ox is strong, no? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather go there on foot first before we start fast traveling. Right. Uh, let's pick. Let's go and paint the posh guy. Uh, how many? Canvases can I craft? We can craft another one. Uh, he was sat in the inn, right? <laughs> um, we don't want her in the painting. We also don't want him staring at us. Maybe we could have him in like the corner of the painting.
Oh, we can paint over. Okay. Oh, we can make it smaller. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it's, it's a portrait, right? Portraits are supposed to be this way. Maybe a little bit wider. A little, we need a little bit of an angle. I think. Now we need him looking at us. It's clipping through the uh, through the cushion on that side. Head towards the top is usually best, I think. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, he blinked! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Do I need to use more inspiration if I want to redo that? Oh my! That painting! It's the most perfect thing I've ever seen! <sighs> I simply must have it! Alright! 2,000 monies! This is wonderful! <laughs> my friends will be so jealous of me! I think I'll start a collection of paintings just like this! Oh jeez, it looks pretty good though! Except for the eyes closed, you know? Like the, the, you know, the way that the painting looks is not, it's not just like a screenshot, is it? Can you imagine? 25. The entire wall filled with paintings of me. Alright, no worries. I'm glad you like it, friend. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So we don't own that anymore, fair enough. I've got one more, I've got one extra canvas, got two more inspiration. Uh, she said she was going to leave the room open for us. Let's have a read. Now uh, the architect of Lindo. Lindo's... I kind of want to call it Lindorf, but never mind. Lindo. Lindo's buildings are engineering marvels, as difficult to construct as they are beautiful. The designs of these technical endeavours are the work of one eccentric genius, Azad of Taria. Let's write that down. Azad of Taria. Five years ago, this incredible architect vanished. His whereabouts remain a mystery to this day. Though praised for his accomplishments in engineering and architecture, he is perhaps most widely recognised through our East Shade for a rare genetic facial disfigurement. A polarising celebrity, many praise his genius, while others resent his supposedly arrogant disposition. Some even claim that his notoriety is owed entirely to the disfigurement, implying that his credited skills are in actuality, nothing more than ordinary. However, one only needs look around the town of Lindo to see he has built something wonderful. His notoriety is owed to his the disfigurement. What like it like just as him as a person, like his him being I, like unique and identifiable. That's a bit. It's uh, a bit nasty. That fair enough. Candles, sure. More books. We can rest here, it seems. Shadian Folk Tales, Volume 1. Long ago, the air outside the planet grew terribly cold. Without any furs or feathers for protection, sun began to the sun began to freeze. Oh, that's that's the name. Okay, sun began to freeze. She decided to make her flames as big and hot as possible to keep herself warm. She worked all day and night to keep her fires burning. 
Enormous flames reached all the way out to our soil and began to scorch the creatures here. Fires raged, destroying homes and forests, but Sun was too exhausted to notice. Growing worried, the plants and creatures decided to help her. Together they gathered twigs, leaves, fur and feathers and wove them all together into a large sheet of fabric. They covered it with clay to protect it from fire, and the trees lifted the woven mass into the sky. Take this blanket to rest yourself in warmth, the creatures cried. Sun slipped under the blanket and wrapped herself tightly. Her flames cooled and dimmed, leaving the land creatures in darkness. When Sun woke from her nap, her golden light returned to the creatures, who danced and sang, thankful that, her, that their gift had worked. And so, that is the story of Sun's blanket, which she still uses each day. Okay, cool. That's that's cool. So that's like a folk tale surrounding the eclipse, right? Which we just witnessed. That's awesome. Before we rest, let's have a quick look in the other room if, if possible. No, not possible. No other books. Have a a little rest. So it's currently four forty three. It's a bit early for bedtime, right? It's going to go dark at about uh, 7 o'clock, so we've still got a few hours. Um, this would be so easy to fall down, right? <laughs> be nice to see the sunset as well. Let's head down to the beach. We'll maybe end the video. Thanks again for the canvas. Oh! It's all right. Do you know anything about the architect? He's some really old guy. I'm pretty sure. Right. Alright, see ya. I want to see you use that canvas. Oh, the weather's changing, I think. Or maybe it's just getting a bit darker. Is there a beach? No, oh, just rocks. Oh, we can't go in the water. There's an invisible wall. So uh, it's, it's really nice not having a map or anything. I mean, there might be at some point. Let's head out onto the pier. See if there's anyone or anything down here. Yeah, a few more supplies than Nick. Okay, so I guess we're going to head over in that direction towards those windmills. Yeah, I think we've spoken to everyone in Lindo. We've been in every building, I think. We've been in the inn, we've been in the annoying guy's house, we've been in the nosy lady's house. Yeah, we've had a bit of help off everyone, we saw the eclipse. We've learned a bit about the, the architects, some folks, some folklore about the eclipse, about the... It might not be a moon, it might be another planet, right? Whatever it is. It's, yeah, I think it's another planet. It's not a moon. When that blocks out the sun. And I guess we'll have a little walk through the forest maybe in the next episode. If possible. Beautiful. Right, guys. That has been the start to Earshade. It's, uh, it's weird and wonderful, right? It's, it's great. Um, we've got like, a few painting quests. We've got places we need to go. And I think we can just kind of explore the island. I'm not sure if we can just walk everywhere or whether we might need... Whether we're like... Might be like penned in by some invisible walls. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's really nice, right? It's really relaxing. Really lovely. Anyway, on that note, guys, I'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the start to East Shade as much as I did. It's a lovely place to spend some time. So uh, leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.